Okay, good morning. And uh, this is Better KS 101. This is an extreme basic class of just getting you in and getting you your invoices paid, know where to find things, look at your dashboard, and I'm going to share my screen. There we go. Everyone see that? Perfect. Not right. yet. Yep. Okay. I see people. <laughs> huh. I want that out of my way. Greg, how do I get that out of my way? Just move it down to the uh, bottom. You can click your little thing, your, your mouse on top, uh, on the green bar, and it changes to an X and you can drag it down. <clears throat> okay, because I want it out of my way. All right, when I say we're going to start at the beginning, we're going to start literally at the beginning. So if, for those of you on your laptop, if you've got them here in class, go ahead and go to Chrome. At the top in the address bar, you're gonna type in betterks.org, or in my case, Edder. <laughs> there we go. That's what it's gonna look like, and that's where you're gonna go. Now, if, of course, mine's already logged in. Technically, you should have a picture of Wichita in the background. I'm not sure why mine does not. It's there. It's just so big. You're only seeing the very top. Oh, I see it. I'm seeing the sky. But if you don't go here and go to betterks.org and you don't see a picture of Wichita or the blue sky behind, you are in the wrong place. So we're going to go ahead and your login, your username is your first name dot last name at bhgrealestate.com. That is technically not an email address. It is nothing more than a username. And that's what you're going to put in. If you've never logged in to betterks.org, you will not have a password and you will need to email me in order for me to set one up for you. But we're going to go ahead and move forward as if you do have a password. And you'll click log in. Now, this is granted is my screen. Yours will log in as the dashboard. And this is the first thing that you guys will see when you log in. <clears throat> You'll see at the top, you've got these little three little lines. Don't worry about them right now. Quick actions, really don't worry about those right now. Apps and tools we'll get to in a minute. And there is a search bar. That's what that little magnifying glass thing looks like. The next line down in the white is your dashboard, which is your main screen as you log in. You have a task. Every time you hover over a word, it is going to probably have a drop down with different things that you can click on. There's listings. Moving over to transactions. Document lists. Invoices, which we will definitely get to. Mine has agents, yours will not. Yours won't have reports. Again, I'm in the administrative side at the moment, but yours does look just like this for the most part. That's a document list? Right, you won't, have, you won't have document lists either. Now, here in your dashboard, you'll see tasks here on the far right. This will be, I need to contact this person or I need to do this. This is individual. It will have different information that have various things. Maybe you want to add someone to a magazine subscription. That's kind of what your tasks will look like. Uh, buyer needs, depending on your buyers, you can click in the search buyer needs, click in your buyer name and it should pull something up. Um, your upcoming and quick launch, again, will be various, but that is not anything important that you need to really worry about. As you continue to scroll down, this is where it gets important. Upcoming events <clears throat> on the far left. You will see all of the meetings and upcoming classes that we have. And it's an easy link to get to where you need to go to get to that class or to find out more information. Uh, as you see next week, we've got betterks.org 102 that I will be teaching while Greg is on vacation. And we will be getting into the extreme nitty gritty of documents and listings and transactions and all that next week. In the center, links and documents. This is a great place to find 
your documents, the blank documents, like a buyer contract package, a seller package. I would be careful with these. These are old. These have not been updated. Your best bet is to go to the MLS and get your documents through there. Um, if you're looking for some other things, like you were wanting to set up your printer hmm. or have a referral agreement, and you need to get one of those, you can find this here under links and documents. Um, if you're looking for a basic cover sheet, uh, if you go down through here, this will hook you up to, you know, if you want some swag into the greenhouse. Well, you have some of it. Um, again, I am in an admin side, so I do have a little bit more. But if you're looking for, let's say, uh, logos that you're wanting to download, this is also where you're going to find them under docs and links. Yes, you do. Lynn says we don't have it. Yes, we do. So you got to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And when you click docs and links, it will take you to this page. Yes, there's always more. Use the microphone so we can hear you, please. Anyway. Yes. I'm sorry. Didn't want to use the microphone. There you go. If you're wanting like to get idiot. to the logos. If you're wanting to add something to social media and you want to download the logos, you'll click links and you'll go to BHGRE Alliance. Uh, okay, wait. Sorry. You're fine. You're in the, the reference use, section. Use the mic, please, so everybody can hear you. Sorry. You're in the reference section? That's still links and documents? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to go back. <clears throat> all right. You're on your dashboard. You've scrolled all the way down to the bottom. In the center of this page is called links and documents. Mm -hmm. You're gonna scroll through the links and documents and you're gonna go to docs and links. When you click that, it will take you to the reference section. Within here, if you're wanting to download, again, the logos, you'll go to links on the far right. And you'll go to BHGRE Alliance. And within that, you'll see BHGRE Alliance logos. Wow, okay. And there they are. And you can download all of our logos and use them for your commercial needs, whatever you're doing. And this is great if you're wanting to make postcards, if you're wanting to make your own social media, this is where you download all of those. Thank you. You're welcome. That's gooder. It is gooder. All right, now we're back. <laughs> To our dashboard. Ta -da! If you are wanting to go in and you're wanting to add something to your profile or update your picture, you can do this from here. Um, if I get that out of the way. I thought we had to send it to you guys. You don't have to. Okay. Okay. Um, on certain things like trying to upload it to Moxie or the corporate site, you do have okay. to send the picture to us. But you can update it here, which does have a, a small connection to the Moxie system. So you're going to go up to the far right. You'll see your picture and your name. There's going to be a little arrow next to your name. You're going to hit that. Once I move away, it goes away. You hover over it. You don't have to click on it. And you're going to go to Edit Profile. And it will bring up this page. This has your information. And if you are wanting to upload a new picture, add some detail to your profile, add some um, social media links, you're gonna go to edit detail. And this is where you can click on your picture and upload a different picture from your computer that you've already saved. You can add your phone number, your personal website. You can go over here and you can add remarks. Where do those pub, where do those remarks go? Those remarks go, they, some of them push to Moxie, some push to the corporate site, which is also connected to our website. But it's not publicized anywhere as far as like- On our website. Okay. Uh, it's, it's whatever you want other people to know about you. 
Um, I've been in real estate 2000 years. I've been doing this. I specialize in commercial property. It's whatever you would want people to know about you. Uh, down at the bottom is where you can add some of your social links. Um, if you are uncomfortable with doing this, doing a copy and paste into it, you can contact Devin and I, and we can help you with that because there's more than one place that you can do this. Once hey, Steve, I, yes, it's Dixie. Um, so on the remarks, you say whatever you want people to know about you. The world can see this, or just people within our company that can see in there. This is does push out to our basic website. Okay. It's not necessarily if you're wanting to change it for Moxie or on the corporate side, which does push out. Um, then you'll have to contact us and send us your remarks, and we can upload those for you. Okay. But most you. of these should most of these should push out. It's been a little hit and miss. Once you have made any changes, whether it's your picture, your information, your social media, you have to click save or it will not stick. Now, if you click on edit profile, as you can see, I have a totally different picture in there. So you can upload your picture from there. This information pushes out more to corporate. It's not something that's necessarily public. Your, the other place that we were at is definitely something that you would want to go ahead and update your information under edit detail. Um, if you scroll down a little further on this page, you'll see payment settings. This is very important. This is where you can add a credit card or a debit card in order to have it on file, <laughs> excuse me, so that you can pay your invoices. Let me get a drink here. Hmm. Now, once you go in and you click add credit card, <clears throat> it's going to pop up with this information. You'll fill it out. You'll click submit. Once you click submit, right down here where it says automatic payments, that will default to enable. If you do not want automatic payments reoccurring every month for your invoices, you must click disable. I didn't know that was an option because I want mine automatically paid. So if we have it automatically paid, will we get an email receipt or anything? Or do we have to go find the receipt? Uh, it's not necessarily a receipt per se. You'll see it on your credit cards, credit or debit card statement. Okay. But you can also go into invoices that I'll show you in a minute and you can see that it's been paid for sure. Um, so if you want to set up a credit card to have on file, add it here under add credit cards. And if you do not want the default auto pay, you must click it off, make sure it says, you know, enable, because mine says disabled right now. You wanna make sure it says that or click enable and you'll have your invoices paid each month automatically without you having to log in to do it. <coughs> now, speaking of invoices, since this ties in at the top, we're back here at the top, you're gonna click on invoices. And you can go to your open invoice, pending invoices, but you'll have open invoices. This is where you can go in and pay your invoice. I'm going to go in as someone else to actually show you what that looks like. You can do me if you want. It oh, Cheryl says I can do her. I have $53. I need to pay for pictures. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in and this is exactly what you will see. As you can see, it's a very similar dashboard and we're going to go to her invoices. These are the invoices that Cheryl has paid and or currently owns, owes. <laughs> you don't want to own them. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, it'll give you the invoice number, who it's billed to, what it, the invoice is for, whether it be the MLS dues, Exposio photos, whatever that may be, your invoice date and the due date. <laughs> this right now shows that her status on her first invoice is open. 
and she owes $54 for Exposio photos. Um, if she wants to go in and pay this bill, I, all I did was click on it. You can do it. Go ahead. And we're going to go to action. <clears throat> and it's right here. It opens the entire invoice. It shows it's open, the balance, just nice and pretty. And you can click pay invoice. Go ahead. And oh. I do that every time. But see, I, I want the receipt right now. I want to know. So I will not. You, in you, 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 wait, sorry. Sorry. I always want the receipt right away. I don't want to like forget and have to go look for a receipt. So I will not enable auto because I would rather go in and click pay and have the receipt right then and know it's been done. Right. Well, and that's why we give you that option. Yeah. yeah. For me, and this it, is better. Depending on how you want to handle your books or handle your invoices, you have that option of the auto pay or not. I feel like I did get a receipt. So you'll get an, you will get an email that says you owe an invoice. You are you on auto pay? I'm on auto. Let me look and see if I got a receipt after I use. You'll get yelled at if you don't use that mic. <laughs> <laughs> Elena's saying. I'm she, Figma. <laughs> go ahead. I am on auto pay, but I'm going to look and see if I get an email once I pay. If you do that, then yeah, I would I'll, change. Yeah, I'll look. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and pay her invoice because she said I can. Spend some money. And as you can tell. Cheryl already has a credit card on file. So we're going to click submit. And you can see right here on the right hand side, it turns green. It is paid. Balance due zero. Ta da! I mean, it's literally, it's that easy. And if you want, on the top right in blue, it says download PDF. This is where. You can download your invoice for your files or on your computer. You can print it out, whatever works for you. And now you can save it or print it. Is there a way to do like January 1st to December 31st of 2022 for tax purposes? Or do you just have to do them one at a time? Well, let's go in. <clears throat> um, you can download a statement on the far right. Oh, and you can click whether it's a current month, the quarter, the current year, last month, whatever, or even last Sweet. year. Okay, perfect. Tax time. Yes, very handy for tax time. So I uh, did get an uh, email. It comes from BHG Alliance Accounting, and it says your payment to BHG Alliance was successful. Oh. We're writing to let you know that your payment for the invoice, blah, 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 was processed successfully. And then you can. Okay, and that's, that, what, that's I want. what you'll receive okay. if you are on auto pay. So yes, that's better. Answers that question. Uh, going back to trying to find your statements, you can put in the selective dates. I want to do it from whatever year to present or whatever you need. And you can download those, save and print them to your computer, whatever you want to do with them. So yes, you do have that option. If you need to make multiple payments on invoices, that's where your batch payment comes in to play, where you can pay more than one invoice at a time. Cheryl doesn't have any invoices to pay because we just did it. But if you've got more than one and you don't want to click on each and every one, this is going to save some time for you. So you can even run your own reports. This is very handy. Again, tax time or anything. Um, you can look at your, your production. Uh, you can look at your, you know, the brokerage's active listings, your commission details, anything like that. This is what Cheryl can do. And you can too, once you log in to betterks.org. <laughs> um, now we're gonna go back to Cheryl's dashboard since she said I could use and abuse her today <clears throat> because her dashboard looks just like yours. As you can see over here on the right on the task, she's got mainly magazines that they're saying, hey, you might want to, you know, set this person up for a magazine. And that is handy because I do use that. Okay. That is really nice. As you can see, again, her events, links and documents in the center at the bottom and her document list. Now, if you're wanting to go in and you're wanting to look 
at one of your listings. All you got to do is click listings, and this will pop up. It will show you closed listings. It will show you your current pending. Same way with transactions. It will show you your transactions. You can get into them. Again, we'll get into the nitty gritty of that next week. I just want to show you that it's there. This is where you find them. Um, I really wouldn't worry anything about marketing since we do all of that through Moxie. Right now, it's don't even worry about it. Um, if you are someone that has that does any type of business when it is a referral coming in from another brokerage, or it is um, trying to think if there was anything else, it's mainly money coming in from another from another brokerage or even a lease. And you're, you're like, I can't find it. It's not in my transactions. Where is it? It is under transactions, other income. Because we have to mark that as different income. It's not a real transaction. It's not a listing. It's a referral that we received from another brokerage that we need to pay you on. And this is where you'll find that information. But we don't need to worry about that because that income is on our 1099. Store. It is, okay. but I'm saying if you want to look at it, okay. the nitty gritty and break it down, this is where you click and you go and it would show you. Look, Cheryl had one. What about our our referrals within the office? Do those go there too? No, those will be under your typical transaction because I have to list those differently. Good question. This is only coming out from another brokerage or if you had a lease agreement with somebody, uh, this is where you would find that information. And if you go to the right, far right, and click action, that's when you can go in. There we go. And it shows you all the nitty gritty. It shows you any documents that were uploaded under transaction documents. It shows this one is closed, it's paid, life is good and all is well with the world. Are we good so far? Yes, no, maybe. I got lots of head nods. <clears throat> All right. As we move on, if we go to the top under apps and tools, again, I'm, I'm using and abusing Cheryl, but your screen looks exactly the same as hers. This is where you find the one stop shopping. If you are needing to get to Moxie Works, there's your link. The Greenhouse, Office 365. Uh, if you're wanting to log into Exposio or the MLS. Do not worry about trainual. Do not worry about moves. But if you are wanting to get into the greenhouse, and I've had people with issues with this, and it's understandable, this is the corporate site. This is where you go to uh, Better University and mm -hmm. buy swag, um, find some marketing tips, lots of different things that the corporate offers. But the login can be slightly different. So we're gonna click on Cheryl's and this is the page it will technically bring you to. We're gonna to go to the far right and we're gonna click log in. Now I've already set Cheryl's <clears throat> up, but not on this computer. Again, the username will be your first name dot last name at bhgrealestate.com. That is not an email. It looks like an email, it's just a username. Now, if you go down to password, you're like, oh my gosh, what's my password? Don't start guessing. It'll lock you out. Yes, it will. <laughs> Cheryl knows. Yes, it will. <laughs> Click forgot password and do it that way. Or contact me, but I would rather help you get in than to get you locked out. And then that takes a whole nother set of monkeys to get that one undone. <laughs> so keep Write down your password somewhere, but I would suggest that your greenhouse password be the same as your betterks.org password. I really recommend that highly. That way you're not going to have to forget it, but normally you're going to go in here and you're going to click on this. You're going to log right in and you will be into better chaos or the greenhouse. Again, here is your office 365. You can get to your email. You can get to all of your apps within there and of course this one logs in as me but if you use your email there's your outlook there's all sorts of little fun word excel powerpoint all of that fun stuff and that's where you find that i am going to get out of cheryl's right now oh crap i just closed the whole thing my bad
man, my B on my keyboard is not happy. There we go. This is actually helping. Good. I'm glad. Okay. Now I'm going back to me because my stuff is already logged in and I don't have to worry about password. We're going to go back to the greenhouse. I just want to show you a couple of things here. Oh, it didn't connect. Okay, I'm going to try once. You can try once. Don't try twice or three times. It will oh. lock you out. <laughs> but again, I'm using my first name, dot last name at bhgrealestate.com. Oh, and I'm too far away from my phone <laughs> to, to get. My, thank you. Oh. <laughs> I've got somebody going to go get my phone. It's right <laughs> under my uh, monitors. Thank you. Um, if you have not logged in from a specific computer before, it's going to ask to verify who you are. That's pretty good. You know, because it doesn't want everybody and their dog logging into your stuff. <clears throat> but it will send a code to your phone as, in the form of a text. You'll put in those numbers as I will shortly. And it's just verifying it's me because I haven't logged into the greenhouse from this particular computer before. Does anybody have any questions up in, up to this point? No, we're good. Silence is golden. Mm. Thank you, Chris, for being here. Oh, you're very well. Have you guys seen his have you guys seen his article, Brenda's article in the top 300 realtors, whatever that's called? Amazing article. It was so good. He doesn't look like it right now, but he really is a knight in shining armor. <laughs> okay. Now that I got my phone, we're going to send, we're going to send, click send code. It shows that it is sent. It will get it. Oh, and it comes just immediately on your phone. And I'm going to put in those numbers and I'm going to verify. <clears throat> Thank you, Tammy. That was nice. And now yeah, I'm logged nice. into the greenhouse. Uh, again, this is the corporate site. Uh, there's learning and there's the better university. I don't care right now. Um, Green Nation, all sorts of agent tools. There's another way to get to Moxie. There's closing gift ideas. Um, as you can see, as I scroll down, there's the BHDRE swag. There's just all sorts of fun stuff in here uh, that you can look at. There's help and support. Um, some of these you won't have because I'm on the admin side. But again, it's just fun to kind of look through and see what the corporate offers in classes or uh, support or anything of that nature. And again, your Exposio, if you're wanting to download your photos, you can go here and you can log in. Your MLS will be obviously your MLS login, but this is a fast, easy way to get to it. That's why I like betterks.org so much because it's one-stop shopping. Now, if you're like, you're in this page and you're like, I can't get back, where do I go? On the far right at the top, you'll see this big X. Click that and you're back to your dashboard. Great. Simple as that. Um, again, any questions on this? Because I, I, again, this was gonna be a short class. This is just the very, very extreme basics of getting you in. If you are unable to get into betterks.org, uh, email me and I will get your password reset so that you can get logged in. Potential tip. <laughs> the TV's telling us potential tips, sorry. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna try to ignore that. <laughs> if it will let me, <clears throat> it's not letting me. Sometimes this TV really ticks me off. Oh my gosh. Okay. Bear with me. We're having a TV issue on this end. 
<clears throat> because the TV likes to do its own thing. I just want to get back. I'm sure Greg's back in his office giggling. <laughs> I just want to go to home. Thank you. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Bear with me. <clears throat> well, that's not helpful at all. Anyway. I will go ahead and wrap this up. If nobody has any other <laughs> questions or anything of that nature, I appreciate you showing up. And again, next week, we will really dive in deep to listings, when and when not to try to add your listing, how to add a transaction to a listing if that's necessary, when it's necessary, and how to upload documents and it's, it's going to be the nitty gritty of it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We won't go into the greenhouse. We won't be going anywhere else except listings and transactions within betterks.org next week. So join us next time on the same channel. Okay. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the crowd goes Thank wild. You, it's over. Thank you. Of course, us here in studio are going, uh, we can't get back. To the right oh, channel. Yeah. I don't, I don't Venmo. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And I forgot to email. I'll do that. Thank you. Uh, not yet today. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, um, based on what the man, I can't get back to save my life. Stupid TV. I want that one. Thank you. Are we back? Oh my gosh, we're back. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. I don't know how. <clears throat> I think I lost everybody on Zoom. I don't know. Thank you, ma'am.